to share with us this morning, we have with us Pastor Jacob Jackfu from Love and Grace Ministries. Always a pleasure to have you. Karibu sana. Thank you. It's good to be back. Happy end month. Happy end month. I feel like we've not been able to say that like all year, right? Like the years has been... Hmm. Yeah. But I hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, it Great. Karibu sana mm. and happy Monday to you. Yes, now we want to talk about Timothy. Yes, Timothy. Yes. You know when I when I when I hear the, the name Timothy, I think of, I think of me mm -hmm. and young ministers like us. Mm -hmm. And he's a good like Paul is telling him be the ideal. Mm. Like he's the ideal guy like to follow after his example. So today we're going to see a t uh, look at his character and then because we don't have much about him mm -hmm. from the scriptures, he's mentioned there here and there in different books. Uh, we're going to see who he is and then we look at what he is supposed to do, mm. like what is his duty, you know. If we don't have much information about someone in the Bible, what we do, we look at what he's supposed to do. It tells us much about his personality. Right. If Apostle Paul, because we know him, can entrust this guy with certain duties, then it tells a lot about that character. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have uh, concerning Timothy. Right. Yeah, we don't have much information about him. Well, we have some um, some traditions yeah. to talk about because, again, the Bible is based in Israel, mm -hmm. and uh, they also have some traditions that sometimes agree with the Bible. Okay. So we are going to pick information in there and see who he is. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that idea that if we don't have information, too much information about someone, you can look at what they've been entrusted to yes. do. Yes. And that should tell you. A oh, lot, yes, yes. right? And we should be yeah. applying that to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have you been entrusted <coughs> to do, right? And that should tell a lot about you as a person. Yeah. That's, that's very deep. So let's begin then uh, looking a bit about what we do know about his, his well, character. Uh, well, he's a young pastor mm -hmm. as he, he, uh, based in Ephesus, and he was entrusted in the churches, uh, in, the churches in Ephesus. And uh, he's a half caste, mm -hmm. half Hebrew, half Greek. Uh, Mother Eunice, uh, he's... Grand grandmother Lois mm -hmm. and his father we don't know his name but he's a Greek okay so and this is the reason why <coughs> at some point in ministry Paul made sure that Timothy was circumcised because mm. being a Greek he wasn't mm -hmm. and since and since Paul wanted to work with him even to preach to the Jew Jewish people mm -hmm. they cannot accept him if he was Exactly. Okay. So I was learning that one, one of the uh, lessons I learned from that is that sometimes you put down who you are so mm -hmm. that you may be able to reach to many more people. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, because you're young, there are things that are not, they're not really bad per se, but there's a certain group of people you will be able to minister to right. if you continue. Like, you know, <coughs> I never got to like suits so much. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I've come to, I've ministered in many churches like PC and SK. Yeah. So in, in, in certain c congregations, you have to put on a tie. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I don't have to like to be rigid. I want to be flexible. That's kind of wisdom that Paul uh, was applying to Timothy, like be flexible so that you're, you're able to be more effective mm. in ministry. Mm. So since he's not Jew, he's not circumcised, Paul makes sure he got circumcised. Okay. Uh, uh, well, he's a young pastor and, um, uh, mentee to uh, Paul mm -hmm. uh, during the second trip of Paul in um, Ephesus, Ukosaidza, Italy. Paul picked him uh, to become his companion in ministry, and mm -hmm. and we can see in some letters, uh, uh, Tim uh, Paul saying that he's a he's a true son. This guy is committed, though he had so many weaknesses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One, uh, he had uh, health issues. Mm -hmm. He had. Um, uh, stomach and intestinal disorders. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes Tim, uh, Paul tells him, hey, uh, as you correct people who are drunkards, make sure you take a little wine mm -hmm. for the sake of your stomach. Okay. So this guy, despite... <laughs> so everyone who's been reading that scripture out of context, yeah. now you know. <laughs> yeah. It's not just for the sake yeah, of... It's it. medicinal. <laughs> like we have, we have many other drugs which are medicinal, right. but people use certain scriptures to fit yeah. the ideologies yeah. and this is what happens if you use a drug if you use the drugs in its abnormal way mm -hmm. we say you are abnormally using <laughs> if we that's the word that's where the word treat us abnormally <laughs> that, that <laughs> that's where the word ab abuse yeah abuse mm -hmm. comes from abnormal use yeah you're abusing the drug yeah so paul tells him because of your um, ailment um 
you have some stomach and so, some intestinal disorders eh zinamsumbua sijui kama ni stress i don't know i don't know <laughs> but I, I, i thought this guy another another place tells us that he was timid right he wasn't uh, a social guy that um, social villain mm. uh, he was a bit timid and uh, reserved mm -hmm. he didn't want arguments with especially with the elderly people mm -hmm. so he was a bit timid mm -hmm. so Paul advises as you as you correct these other people from drunkenness make sure you take a little right for, uh, because of your uh, okay. consistent ailment okay. so we know him uh, with um, the weakness one weakness ni uh, health issues yeah. yeah but that should not stop us right. from from doing what god has called us some place paul tells him in and out of season preach the gospel mm -hmm. when some version says when the conditions are favorable and when conditions are not mm -hmm. favorable mm -hmm. in other words is go beyond your weaknesses yeah. you can be committed to what you've been called to do beyond what you see as your weaknesses mm -hmm. you know that's um that's a, cha a charge that paul gave him because of his weakness uh what else do you know about um timothy he had some colleagues akinataitas but there's something about this guy he was humble and teachable yeah so like paul keeps mentioning him this is my true son mm. he, he was even with paul in his you know most most of the letters Paul, Paul wrote were he was in prison and most of his uh, fellow ministers abandoned him okay many people don't want to be associated with people who are in prison mm -hmm. so it get a, a negative connotation you know yeah. so but for Ty, uh, for Timothy he's that, that kind of a guy who doesn't judge you because of what you're going through okay so he, he sticks by Paul mm. even with the, uh, in in prison and other areas of okay. ministry Fantastic. Well, we're going to take a break now, All right. but when we come back, we're going to continue this discussion with Pastor Jacob Jackfu. And uh, I want us to look at how we can apply this scripture to ourselves because that's a big scripture. Do not let anyone think little of you because you are young. Be their ideal. Mm. Wow. Are you someone's <laughs> ideal? Is someone looking up to you? Are they following your patterns? And are you making sure you're giving them the right patterns to follow as well? Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS sign. Also reach us on social media at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. And we'll be back after this. guys welcome back to full circle with joyce i'm here with pastor jacob jackfu and we're talking about timothy from the new testament and uh, we've already shared our scripture for the day it's a great scripture there it's first timothy chapter 4 verse 12 if you uh, want to look at that as well and um, we've learned that this young man you know is from a multiracial background mm. he, he, or multi-ethnic let me say uh, background both greek and jewish and here he is attached to apostle paul which already by the way i think is a big deal yeah because paul was someone who i mean once paul's life was transformed like there was no joking around mm. like he was mm. he was dead serious mm. about uh spreading and sharing uh the gospel and so i think in many ways we see that Paul had a, a high regard for him yeah. and you've touched a bit on that but you know he calls him fellow worker beloved and faithful child in the Lord God's servant um, and then even in Philippians chapter 2 verse 20 to 22 saying I have no one like him who will be genuinely mm. anxious for mm. your welfare I mean mm. what a testimony mm, yeah. this is Paul yeah this is Paul like the Paul you know? <laughs> and Timothy is a young person <laughs> he's a very so young for guy. A senior guy to give such a testimony right of a, such a young person it, it means a lot yeah he's a guy to look to you mm -hmm. know yeah yeah and a challenge <coughs> to, to us Mm. to myself to you and everybody else that's watching you know can like, senior guys give such a testimony can senior about? guys give <laughs> such a testimony and, and i know a lot of times we don't like hearing <coughs> that because we feel like we're never given a seat at the table mm. we're never mm. given opportunity mm. we don't have a foot in mm. the door but sometimes i guess it's also about proving ourselves mm. faithful mm. and i think that's the word here faithfulness mm. it wasn't that necessarily clearly he wasn't as experienced mm. as paul or any of the other mm. disciples mm. were but it was that he was faithful yeah 
to the call that and he had teachable. been and teachable. Like this guy is humble. He could follow uh, uh, Paul to his missions yeah. and again serve him. So Paul, Paul um, from within himself, he, he feels I should bring on board this young guy. Mm -hmm because he's he seems like he's interested he's mm -hmm. committed mm -hmm. so uh, even in prison when everyone else is running away from paul yeah. because of the bad image yeah timothy sticks by him yeah H how many times do you quickly judge someone just because they're going through a rough time and yet then you say like uh uh that's not a good guy maybe god left him mm -hmm. but this guy goes beyond the physical suffering he shares with paul in his suffering you know and f eventually uh, we see Paul make him with, in some letters uh, to the Thessalonians, Philippians. We see T Timothy as a core author. Mm -hmm. Those are the benefits of you know being uh, being committed and and accountable to a senior person. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually, as we're sharing this, it's making me think of this is an ideal mentor mentee yeah. relationship. Yeah. Because, you know, so many times people will say, oh, I don't have anyone to mentor me. Mm. And you have to think back and ask, what are you also offering? I, mm. I, I, I at least have learned mm. and understood that a mentor-mentee relationship is not just one person giving you. Mm. It has to be a two-way. Yeah. And for Paul, he saw something mm. in this young man mm. and decided he was pulled. Mm. It, it became almost part of his mission yeah. to make sure that he raises him. Yeah. And for Timothy, as you're saying... He also saw the need to stick by this guy mm. even when things mm. were tough. Mm. He didn't say, ah, we use a pesata and I said, yeah. He saw beyond mm. that. And I think that paints a good and, picture. And the amazing thing I say about thing is that there's a, there's a clean white and black difference between mentorship in the Old Testament and in the New Covenant. Mm -hmm. The Old Covenant and the New Covenant. The, the, new, the Old Covenant is about uh, Eli Elijah and Elisha. So Elisha looks up to. Elijah to receive mm. from what Elijah had and right. uh, speaking of double portions yes, but yes. in the new covenant the kind of mentorship we have is so different yeah. we see Paul addressing as Timothy as co-worker right. because we both have Jesus yes, yes. you don't have to inherit my double portion right. we have received of his fullness mm -hmm. so there's a clean difference between the Old Testament mentorship and the new covenant mentorship mm -hmm. because all of us even if you're born yesterday we we have the same jesus that's right so i have to treat you in a way that you too have the power of god right you know and, and i think that's that's a major challenge today we have people forcing others to be elishas mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a kind of that rebellion mm -hmm. and and it comes because we think if we 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 lit up this young person he is he is like going to be you know to to puff up and all that so mm -hmm. we make sure you suppress them and young people like withdraw mm -hmm. but at the same point as we're saying as much as we have a me uh, someone to mentor us we need to be committed like we need to submit like we need we know that uh because this guy is ahead of me i need to learn we need to be teachable mm -hmm. you know, and that's what timothy despite his weaknesses yeah there were better guys than him but because of his commitment paul considers him mm. to co to commit him to the to the church of in Ephesus and right. give him duties right you know? right wow um i want us to get to to this verse uh that we've shared today um which is our scripture for the day once again from first timothy chapter 4 verse 12 yeah. and uh, i'm really loving this version the living bible and how it puts it um, but there that it says, do not let anyone think little of you because you are young. Mm. And I want us to address the young people that are watching this mm. show this morning. I think as we've already touched on and mm. alluded to, um, sometimes we get forgotten. We get, you know, sort of pushed to the side, yeah. ignored, taken for granted. But here he's saying, do not let anyone think little of you because you are young. Mm. And then he says, be their idea. Yeah. Yeah. That means even to the persons who are older mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. than you, mm -hmm. be the their ideal. ideal. That is a loaded mm -hmm. statement. Mm -hmm. tell, me, you know, tell me your thoughts about that. You know, um, Paul, like the church in Ephesus was in the third stage of growth. There is that, uh, the three stages of church growth. You're gathering people and then you're making the church stronger. And then the third stage is that within the church, now the church is growing in itself. Like we have ministers from the same church and all that. So uh, out of the issues that were in the church, mm -hmm. so Paul was charging Timothy, correct 
about the doctrines I have heard. They are being taught in there. Mm. There are guys who came in uh, focusing on the genealogies. Like, you know, if you're not from this genealogy, God, you are not qualified on those. And Paul t tells him, uh, please correct them. Mm. Then he talks about social life. There are women in that church who are coming up like, uh, they're making the church like a, a, a show for outfits and they would make others feel like they're not rich enough. Mm. And then the same women, somehow they start um, asserting the leadership in the church. Mm. So Paul also asked him to correct mm. that. That that thing was uh, charging Timothy to, to help, to charge people to pray over the leadership in Rome because where there's no peace, church cannot progress. Right. And then there's a lot of um, duties that Paul tells Timothy to correct in that church. Mm. But since he's young and timid, now that's why he, he told them, that's where this verse comes from. Mm -hmm. By the way, as you're doing all this, I know you're young. I know they'll look at you and say, what, what can you tell us? Mm -hmm. There were actually elderly people who are uh, living um, a, a bad example mm -hmm. to society. They were drunkards. Mm -hmm. So Paul is telling them and some senior teachers, respect their age, yeah. but do not accept their errors. Mm -hmm. So finally he tells me, by the way, let no one despise you because you're young, mm -hmm. but actually be their ideal. Mm. When they look at you in the way you teach, in the way you, uh, you love, mm -hmm. in the way you, you handle faith, mm -hmm. when everyone is doubting God, be the person to believe. Right. You know, and this is where um, I bring it to a point of, we are not called to fit in. We are called to stand out. Mm. And this doesn't mean, like you were saying before, like this doesn't mean like you live anyhow. Yes, you, right. you, do, you don't want to fit in, in church. Yeah, because you know? I think, uh, unfortunately, many of us have also taken that scripture, yeah. you know, with free license and we've been very selective with how we apply yeah. it. Yeah. Like we don't want to fit uh, uh, in good malls and others. We want to, like, I'm me. You know, yeah. he, it's not about it's that. It's not about that. It means when everybody is making something wrong look like right, even if 98% believe that something wrong is right, it doesn't make it right. Mm. So you stand out. Mm. You don't have to follow in that system. Be the ideal. Be a good example. Mm -hmm. Like when people look at you, they admire your faith, mm -hmm. you know? And unfortunately, in our generation, how to address this, like, like uh, our generation doesn't like confident people. If you're confident, they think you're arrogant right. or proud. Yeah. Confidence is not pride. It's when everybody is doubting that we are going down and say we are going up. Mm -hmm. You know, you're standing out in your faith. Mm -hmm. In the way you teach, you don't have to uh, uh, quote scriptures just for the sake of quoting, be mm -hmm. excellent. Because mm -hmm. uh, down there, the same chapter, verse 15, uh, Amplified Version, he, he says that uh, uh, med cultivate, meditate, cultivate, and uh, commit yourself fully to these duties mm -hmm. so that your growth may be evidence right. for everyone to see. Yeah. Like he's charging this guy, be excellent. Mm -hmm. As much as you're going to correct those people, how are you living? Are you living up to the standards that you're telling them to? So you yourself, mm. as a person, be the ideal. Right. Like someone told me some years back, I've never forgotten, uh, told me, uh, continue with your good morals, you might be the only Bible some people read. True. And I'm like, some people will never have the time to read all the Bible. But mm -hmm. we, actually Paul calls us the epistles of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are the, an open letter. Mm -hmm. So when people look at you, they can know much about God. Mm. Because you're a walking, breathing testimony. Mm. that God transformed people's lives. So Paul is charging Timothy, be the ideal. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. And, and the fact that even as a young person, that charge applies to people younger than yeah. me, people my age, yeah. people <coughs> even older than me. It's possible that an older person can look at you and yeah. be like, wow. Very possible. I really admire Jacob. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, remember, you can send in your feedback to triple one triple four triple one. Thank you. I have a couple of people here watching from Meru. Uh, someone here says, I love you. Uh, from the first day I started watching the show, you say your life has started changing. Amen. And wow. uh, thank you for the compliments there. Valentine from Meru, you say you also tuned in for the show. I also have... Um, someone, you just say good morning. <laughs> I don't have your name or where you're watching from, but thank you for that laughter's water tuned in from limuru over on facebook you say it's a great blessing to see the end of another month i give the lord glory for his protection um walter michi raha here saying so does it mean when i have an ailing stomach i can take some wine <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> and they say Jacob Jackfu looks so humble. <laughs> Indeed, he is. He is a great guy. Uh, thank you for that feedback. I think we already addressed the wine part, but. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have all of the, the scriptures in account. I know. What <laughs> Otherwise, we can get ourselves in trouble. But um, indeed, uh, then the part of the scripture of the day, he talks mm. about how then and the things to be an example mm. Mm. to them in. The in and you've already touched on it a little bit, but in love, in faith, in clean thoughts. Um, and this calling people to follow the way that mm. we live. And, mm. you know, in the, in the sort of day and age in which we live, we want people to follow us because of our cars, mm, mm. because of our big houses, because of our fashion mm. and all these trips around the mm, world. Like mm. people are following us for the wrong reason. Yeah. They're following us for our immorality and mm, how we can mm, have, you know, mm, 10 mm, babes and, mm, you know, many guys mm, around. One guy is for mm. rent, an one guy is for downward. your shoes. Mm. Once, you know, it's, and that is so far away from what the scripture mm is saying you know if you look at those those four uh, five points like be the ideal in the way you teach some versions say in your speech mm -hmm. how yes, you how you speech. how you speak do yeah. people admire how you speak to others to mm -hmm. the elderly people to uh to your juniors and then he says in the way you love mm. today if you tell someone you love them you'll have to explain yeah, <laughs> yeah and that goes to the last point it says in your in your thoughts Mm -hmm. in your clean thoughts mm -hmm. like we uh, this generation has, has so so much negativity if uh, you you see someone doing something because of your evil thoughts you um quickly conclude they're doing something evil right it tells a lot, lot about your own mind that's true you know you yeah. can't think well of people yeah. just because that's what you're saying they were thinking is what you would have done exactly right exactly so he says be the ideal probably there was a lot of judgment in the church you know, like says, like in every area, be the ideal mm. in your faith. When everyone is doing contrary to what God has spoken, just because they can't see it with their physical eyes, right? Be an example, yeah, in faith, right? You know, right. and um, well, I believe it's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Timothy became our ideal person as young people, and we can do it because absolutely. we have God in us. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. A great challenge <laughs> to every young person watching the show this morning. I certainly hope that. Uh, Timothy, the little that we know about his yeah. life, at least we can see. For someone like Paul to really try, and Paul seemed like a no-nonsense type yeah. person. So I think for him to really um, extort this guy like as mm. someone to look mm. up to, mm. someone to really build up, is a great challenge, a great encouragement to all of us as mm. young people yeah. as well. So mm. uh, that's my challenge to you this week. Go out and be the ideal and be the godly ideal yeah um is 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 what we need to emphasize mm. here be the godly ideal and your age count not, counts not and your age doesn't matter yeah doesn't matter because Absolutely. like god is saying jeremiah jeremiah saying i'm young god says before you were born right before you had anything to call an age yeah say so i don't know how to speak i am i'm up as god says i'll put my own words in your mouth yeah so it's not about how good you are in your speech like you're saying people are following us for the wrong reasons mm. like paul says when i came to you I desire to know nothing else apart from him and him crucified. And then he says, he says that uh, I did not, I did not come with excellence of speech, mm. like because this guy was learned. Mm -hmm. Like today, if like he had like five degree masters, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and but says when I came to you, I came with sim a, sim a, a simplicity of speech, with, uh, demonstration of the gospel, so that your faith will not be anchored in those things. Yeah. Sometimes when you come with a lot of kujipamba, uh, you mm. know, with a lot of things people's faith anchor in those things instead mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. They follow me because of those things you're talking about and those things instead of mm. faith in Christ. Yeah. So Timothy this to be an ideal guy. Yeah. Like people see how you have faith in God, sure. how you love in the godly way, how your thoughts are godly. You can be the ideal. You can be the walking Bible, Come walking, on. talking Bible. Come on. Yeah. And you know what, as we get ready to pray, it, it actually just makes me think that the, the Bible actually is full of young people doing amazing things. Yes. Many other young people who were ideal yes. as well. Every, if you think of um, even Joseph. 17 years. 17 years. David, David 17 again. Daniel, Shadrach, I, Meshach, and Abednego. More, I mean, and these were we, young guys. And uh, it's believed that all the disciples of Jesus were teenagers apart from Peter. Wow. All of them were teenagers. Apart That's from incredible. Peter. Yeah. 
That's incredible. So young people, let's step up to the plate. Yes. Let's change the narrative. <laughs> let's, let's, you know, change uh, what is said about us as young people. Let's be godly examples. Let's be godly ideals to our society. The beautiful thing about being young and serving God is because you don't, you don't give credit to your experience. When God does something through you, all the glory is back to him That's because right. it's, not, it's nothing to do with you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Wow. I want to ask you to pray <coughs> for us, uh, especially to pray for young people. It's been a rough year, yeah. and many of us maybe don't feel like we have much mm. to offer, mm. much to give. We're getting into a new month, and maybe there are others who just are like, I need this year, just exit out, <laughs> yeah. blot it from my memory. Mm. Um, would you pray for all of us that indeed, even in the last month of the year, um, that we would purpose to mm. truly be mm. godly ideals? All right. Yeah. All right. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you for... We are young, and thank you because through the scriptures, we see that you love using young people. Mm -hmm. And just say that you cannot put new wine into the old wines, meaning that you're going to use people in a way that even the senior people may not really accept because our age counts not. Lord, before we were born, you knew us. You set us apart. You anointed us. Even if we don't know how to speak because we're young, you put your own words in our, in our mouths, Lord. Lord, despite our weaknesses, like you have seen uh, in, uh, in Timothy's life, he had weaknesses, but Lord, you still used him because it's not, that's not our qualifications, Lord. Lord, we thank you because we cannot give credit to our many years, to our experiences, and thus we give ourselves fully to you mm -hmm. that by your grace we shall do exploits for you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Even during this season and during this year, Lord, it's been a tough uh, year for young people. I speak uh, divine strength. I speak divine knowledge and divine wisdom to continue and not to fit in, not to allow people to despise us because of our youth. Of our, our youth. Mm. But Lord, we shall be the ideal in the way you speak, in our faith, in our conduct, in our purity of mind. Mm. We give you glory, we give you honor. Today, Lord, encourage someone. Those who are growing weary, give them strength. Renew their youth like an eagle, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, and we come to the end of the year, all the glory and honor shall be unto thee. Also, thank you for us here in the studio. Thank you for Joyce, a, a, a young minister. Lord, mm -hmm. I pray that you continue giving her strength and wisdom to stand out as mm -hmm. thousands and millions look up to her, Lord. Make her an ideal to young women and even men. And it mm -hmm. is in Jesus' name we do pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Thank you very much Amen. for that, Jacob. Thank you. I really do appreciate you as always. How can people follow you? On Facebook, Instagram, and um, What's up? Oh, what's up? What's uh, up? Okay. Jacob Zakfu, and my number is 0726 507786. Fantastic. Yes, thank Always you. Always a me. pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you for challenging, challenging mm. us this morning. And uh, with that said, guys, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our next segment. We're going to be traveling the world in pictures. You want to stay tuned for that. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. This is Full Circle with Joyce.